All right, Bradman's 1981 again. All right, still trying to figure out the best way to do these uh, uh, reviews slash maybe unboxings, whatever, of my anime figures. So uh, please check out my previous videos for further information, like where I get them from uh, and some other comments and that. I'm just going to get straight to the figure because I have a lot of them to review. And if I'm going to do all of them, it's going to take me some time. So, <laughs> and most of you are more, more interested in the figure than my experience or where I got them from. Uh, but always feel free to leave a comment for any questions below. This figure is from the manga slash anime uh, series called uh, Mashuko Tensai. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Jobless Reincarnation. Um, the character's name is Eris... Uh, uh, Eris Boreas Grey Rat. Um, and I uh, highly recommend checking out the anime. I, I've really enjoyed it, so even though I'm, like most people, are probably very much burnt out on this reincarnation anime. Um, but anyway, it's uh, called The Changing Clothes. Um, it is the 1 7 scale. It is done by the company um, Q's Q, uh, Q U E S, and then capital Q. Uh, the sculptor is Takatori. And, um, yeah, so what I really like about this figure is the hair. I love the hair because I don't know how our other figures are, but in this particular figure, I think they captured like more of a realistic color. So I know some people are like, well, well, exactly like the anime, but they, I, I think they nailed out of the part. So let me pick this up, pick her up here and show you what I mean. Let's forgive me for the zoom but i just love the hair i think they did such an awesome job and i love how they made the hair such a big part of the figure because if you watch the anime you would understand that that's very fitting um let's get a zoom up on our face very cute expression come on zoom zoom everyone's like do this they're yelling at me right now what are you doing it's zooming in on my... Here, let me put my arm down. Maybe it'll do it then. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's a very cute expression. Um, another thing I really lo lo like about these two figures, uh, this one and the one I just previously did a review for, the, the QSQ uh, from the same anime, is the, the skin. Um... Even some of the higher end figures I've gotten, um, and no, I'm not doing this just to flash or tush at you, at you all, but um, there's like lines. You can tell it's from the, uh, the molding, um, and there is none. I mean, the paint is phenomenal. Uh, I mean, I really like these figures. I, I, like I said in my previous video, the base, because the, the bases are the same, there's like kind of wood like faux wood looking uh, floor. Um, but although I would have preferred something else, it's better than just a regular white base or whatever the circular base that most figures have. So as much as I, I'm kind of complaining about it, it's still better than the, the, ma the mass majority of figures. But I think the detail is incredible. Um, I think they nailed it out of the park with this uh with these two figures in, in, in particular from from the series um basically the way i look at it is uh for the for, you know scene context uh you know the girls are changing their clothes and uh uh well rudius which is the main character of the anime um walks in on because he's a giant pervert um <laughs> <laughs> which is one of the reasons why the anime is, is, is fun and is f uh, enjoyable and fun, funny to watch, you know, but, uh, I've had some, you know, some people made some comments online about it. You know, the fact that she is underage and for those of you who are aware or not, when it comes to Japanese culture, um, anime and figures, um, uh, it gets a little complicated, let's put it that way, but uh, the whole sexualization of children, I guess you could say is more common over there. I, I do not condone it um, for certain, but the, when, when I saw this figure, I didn't really think 
like honestly i really didn't think oh that's sexy blah blah, blah. that's you know whatever i really thought it was like like i could see like as a junior high kid like sneaking into like the girl's locker and, ah, and, yeah. and of course that's highly inappropriate i don't i'm not pat my i never did that but even if i did i wouldn't pat myself in the back or whatever but that's the way i look at it. I look at more of uh of innocent you know child fun um and I just, I, I think the pose is fun and cute. Um, I don't think it's uh, sexy at all. I think it's just fun and cute. And uh, um, and in, in a sense, almost kind of has, a, has an innocence to it. Um, if it was otherwise, um, if it was more provocative or different facial expression, different story, I, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, I, I'm not judging those that do, but some of the figures... I'm surprised people display in their homes for anyone to see. But like I said, to each their own, as long as not breaking the law or doing anything, you know, truly morally wrong, you know, who am I to say anything? Uh, where I got this figure from, um, gosh, did I get this? I don't think I got this from Ami Ami. Where did I get this from? Oh, you know what? I got this from eBay, but I think I got it from Ami Ami on eBay. That sounds right. I've actually had this figure for quite a while. It's one of my uh, first, uh, like, I guess you could say, higher to medium grade level figures. Uh, here's the box. Uh, no bonus. Uh, I think there was a bonus item. Might have been a wall scroll uh, or, a, or, or, an, or an acrylic picture. But uh, I know it wasn't a bonus face or, or different... Um, uh, base for the figure um, because if that was the case I, I would have gotten it so but yeah so that's it I just want to do a quick you know, re re uh, review uh, get my opinion on it um, I, I love the figure I think it's great um, I think the prices have actually gone down a little bit and I and they actually re-released it and I think they're taking pre-orders now because I think the demand to have because even though she's been released, I didn't really see any used figures for sale. So I'm assuming she the figure sold well and people weren't selling it. They were happy with it. So now they're re-releasing it. And um, I think the price went down a little bit. Uh, the other figure I just did was a little more expensive. but it's a little bigger. But uh, yeah, enough rambling. Again, this is uh, the uh, character figure from Mushu Mushuku... Tensai Jobless Reincarnation. The character is Eris uh, Boreas uh, Grey Rat. Um, and uh, it's called uh, ch Changing Clothes Mode. It's 1 7 scale. Again, done by the Q's Q and the sculptors Takatori. And I am Bradmas1981. As always, feel free to leave a comment below. And I will continue to have fun doing these videos. And I hope everyone has a great holiday. And uh, let's hope for a, a better next year. Right, everyone? All right. Take care.